up here today to have a photo shoot with Laura Warnick photography. How does it look? Okay. Okay. Oh, amazing amazing together. Yeah. And her hair and makeup done. You look gorgeous. Bartley from B. Johnstone Styles you. Look amazing. at this. Oh. Yeah. So good. We feel pretty. So we thought we'd take the opportunity while Anne was with us to get some interview tips because we're just starting out. As if you can tell by our interviews. <laughs> we're doing great. We learn as we go. We do. And so I wanted to ask you I think I'm talking too much with my hands. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, we live in a state that is a third Italian. Italians talk with their hands. I'm married to an Italian. But, oh, there you so go. Maybe that's it. <laughs> and I, I think I do that too. I think, you know, it's expressing. And, you know, growing up in Indiana, my mom would say, you know, don't don't talk with your hands. Well, uh, hello. I mean, that's what they're here for, right? Yeah, so don't worry about it. Just be yourself. You're a okay, Scottish good. Italian. Yeah, you're um, I am 100% Scottish. And you're from Scottish. So. Scottish yes. And you're, you're from where? Oh, Dundee and Edinburgh. And people are jealous of your accent. Oh, I'm telling you right now. Those who hear it. No, I hear it. it. Okay. Yeah, I hear it. All right. So, <laughs> okay. So my problem, if you notice, when you were talking before, I was. <laughs> I'm a bobblehead in interviews. I mean, what is it okay to just? Do you see yourself doing that? Yes, it interviews? drives me nuts. Well, I think just when someone's talking, just look at their eyes and, you know, gaze at their eyes and just be engaged in that conversation. And I think maybe that will help. I don't know. Okay. But you should always be yourself, too. Okay. You should always be okay. yourself. Stop that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would like to ask you how you got into being a news podcaster. How did this happen? I am curious about everything. The written word is everything to me, which the book is coming out in October. We're so so excited. I never thought I would write a book that someone said, if you write something, we'll publish it. And so I'm curious about everything. This is based on a diary my mother gave me when I was eight years old, and I chronicled everything in my life. Wow. It drives people nuts, and I would tell you that there's a never been a brochure that I didn't love. Because I, I want to read it, I want to know what's going on. I used to collect on. brochures. Okay, so that means you're going to write a book too. And I kept a diary, so but it's maybe I'm on the right path. Yeah, it's all about <laughs> diaries. I kept diaries with my, my three daughters. They would write, I would write, which was a great way to communicate with kids yeah. as teenagers. Because they can say things writing that they may not say in their face. Yeah. Writing is, is such a great thing, and, and I was curious, and I took the writing to television, and it worked out since 1979. Who knew, right? Crazy. Wow. And you're WTNH's longest running reporter. And, and I told you I'm 150, but I'm trying nice. to keep it together. You look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been very um, lucky. Um, I have been um, able to raise my three kids in the state of Connecticut, which I love, which I know you guys yes, love, love, and your blog, and what you're doing for the state of Connecticut, writing about innovators and entrepreneurs and small business people. It's about stories. It's yeah. all about stories, and I don't think we're telling enough stories these days, so yeah. hats off to the two of you for Thank doing what you. you're doing. Well, you're an inspiration to us. Oh, so I'm totally. If we can be Thank anything you. like you, oh, we will be. You should be at my house you. around 7 a.m. You would be <laughs> <laughs> So, shall we take our new interview tips and rapid fire you? How, how do you feel about that? I'm very nervous about this, but I'm going to give you is okay the answers as, as best, best as I can. As you can. Yes. So okay. we have some questions. All right. We're just going to fire them out. Okay. Biggest pet peeve. And um 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 when people say that um and um person you've been most starstruck to interview the everyday person and what they do in their lives. If you could pick one superhero power, what would it be? to change the world for the better. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Favorite fashion era? Every day I make one. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> if you could eat only one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Peanut butter. Wine or beer? Uh, wine. Yes. Favorite country you've visited? Greece. 
What's in the Santorini trunk? Santorini, oh. Greece. Oh. Favorite oh. place on the planet. planet. Okay. What's in the trunk of your car? And, and I just went to an antique show on the green in Madison, Connecticut. So there's an old vanity in there, clothes I'm giving to Goodwill, and a uh, an old light fixture. Oh, it's filled with stuff. <laughs> 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 Is it my turn? Yeah. Favorite season in Connecticut? Summer. Speak any languages? A little bit of French. Un peu. Bonjour. Un peu. Uh, favorite thing about unlocking Litchfield? I think you can unlock so much stuff up here in the hills, and I think people don't get up here enough. The True. nooks and crannies and the towns and the bakeries and the small businesses are beautiful, like Candlewood. Are you kidding me? Yeah. It's beautiful. You've got a lot going on. Yeah. Yeah. Ever been cow tipping? Yes. I went to Purdue University, but I never took part, but I know kids that did. <laughs> It's an egg Good school. politically correct And answer. my grandfather was a dairy farmer. Oh, oh well, just well, saying you don't want to tip her. Biggest fear? I won't do enough in my life. <laughs> Word to describe yourself? Nuts. Love. Crazy chance taker. I'm out. <laughs> Favorite movie? Auntie Name, starring Rosalind Russell, born in Waterbury, Connecticut. And the name of your store is? Annie Mae. Uh -huh. And what do you sell there? Vintage, all kinds of Connecticut made goodies. Um, things that are, that are from the past. Things that just make me happy. Very cool. Okay. Okay. See, I think you are so happy. You don't feel so really scared. Thank you so much. <laughs> you breathe now. Now we get to do a photo shoot. Awesome. Let's Thank do you it. So awesome. Thank you. Thank you.